Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we're going to be seeing the top 5 best raid characters in Anime Dimensions. So this is going to be counting almost every game mode, um, not really infinite, because infinite is not too, too important, because, I don't know, we're going to be counting these raid characters for every game mode, so let's go ahead and start with the list. So let's go ahead and start with number 5. Number 5, in my opinion, is Esper. Esper is very, very fast in Dimensions because he has a speed boost and his moves give you pretty decent AoE. In Raid, he has pretty good DPS. For Time Challenge, he's got pretty low cooldowns and good AoE moves. Plus, he gets that speed boost, which is going to help him a lot in Time Challenge. In Boss Rush, he's pretty spammable, so he's pretty good for Boss Rush. And in Infinite, He's kind of mid. He's not really, like, good, but you can't really have a character that's bad for infinite. So, in my opinion, he's the fifth best raid character. Also, his assist is very, very good for time challenge. Actually, it's meta, so... And I've been seeing a lot of people asking what meta means, which I don't think I should have to explain this, but meta just basically means one of the best. Or the best. So, overall, he's, like, the most balanced character in the game. But for number four, I actually got Awakened Yurichi. Now, Yurichi, when he's not awakened, he's not really that good. But the reason I put him in top 4 instead of top 5 is because his assist gives you the boss damage buff, um, which is very, very good. He's like the 3rd or 4th best assist right now, which is very, very nice. Plus, uh, when he's awakened, he has some pretty good damage in raid and some pretty good times in boss rush. In dimensions, he's not really too good, but he's not really that bad. I don't really know for um, time challenge. But I know his 5th ability and his 4th abil ability are going to be really good for time challenge. Actually, I don't know so much about his 5th ability, but he's also got a dash, which is pretty nice for time challenge. And for infinite, he's pretty good too, because he's got uh, very good AoE moves. But uh, yeah, next up for number 3, I have Awakened Garo. When Garo's awakened, his assist is basically just the best assist in the game. But discarding that, when he is awakened, he's not really that great in anything. He is the best time challenge character by far. He increased everyone's scores by a hundred. Like, literally. For example, SP, uh, he did a run and got exactly 1,300 with much Megaman. And, uh, now with Garo, he has gotten, like, 1,390. Or something like that. I don't know, Spit did. Spit should hit 1,400 already. He should just... Stop whatever he's doing right now. Actually, did he hit 1.4k? No. Wait, what happened to Spit? Oh, so Octa got 1,390. You need to get 1,400. Hurry it up. But uh, yeah, Garo overall as a main isn't really the greatest. I would say Yurichi's actually a better main than Garo. But, Garo's assist is a lot better. It has double the DPS, which is very nice. So I'm going to put him slightly above Yurichi. No! I missed out on Kaido. Okay. Before we get on to the top two, I want to give an honorable mention. Deku, you know, he's pretty much just only good for raid. Uh, not really anything else. He's good for raid, though. But, uh, when I say good, I mean almost. Not quite there yet, but almost Kaido level. So, next up for top two, I put Naruto Beast. I mean, come on. Alright, I, I made a video testing him, which I was about to release yesterday, and then Spit released his, so there's just no point. But I got a 130 uh, Pirate Dimension with him, I got a 18 second boss rush, I got uh, like 6.7 or 6.8 billion damage in raid, which is almost deal level. I didn't test him in time challenge, uh, he's also really good in infinite mode. So overall, he's very well rounded, almost Dio level uh, raid damage. Uh, actually, I'm pretty sure this third or fourth best for dimensions, which is very nice. Uh, way better than Dio, and he's really good, really really good for boss rush. He's also very easy to use in boss rush too. But finally, for the best raid character, everybody saw this coming. It is Dio. Obvious. I mean, I mean, it's obvious. 7 billion damage in a solo monkey raid. One of the best time challenge characters. A pretty good assist. Pretty good for dimensions. You know, like, I get like 145 with him. 150, actually, on average. But, like, I get 18 second boss rushes with him. He's a little bit harder to use in boss rush than Naruto Beast, but they end up doing about the same. But, uh, yeah, Dio, he's, uh, I think I already mentioned this. He's one of the best characters for infinite mode, actually. He's also really good for time challenge too, because he pretty much just one shots everything. Actually, he does he does one shot everything? So does like every other character, and he's got very good AOE moves. So yeah, in my opinion, he's the best raid character. A lot of people might get this confused. 
he isn't the best uh, for raid. These aren't just... Okay, I explained this at the beginning, actually. But just in case you skip to the end. This isn't the best characters for raid. This is the best raid characters, you know? The best ones you can, like, buy with raid tokens. But, uh, yeah, I definitely recommend getting Dio. I also recommend getting Naruto Beast, because, you know, he's pretty good. Uh, a lot of people are making this mistake right now, uh, buying Garo. Don't do that. Don't buy these characters, alright? Even though m most of these characters are worse than Garo, it's just you have 50 days to buy Garo, and you have 20 days to get all these little fellas. But, uh, yeah, I know a lot of you guys were wanting this video. Uh, I also have a little special video that you guys have been wanting for a little bit. Um, that, that's it. That's just the end of that one. I'll see you guys in the next video where I break a glass bottle. Over my knee? I'm bleeding. Goodbye.